हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ पूर्वांचल आई एस एंड वेलकम टू द इंट्रोडक्टरी लेक्चर ऑफ जी एस थ्री इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी सब्जेक्ट टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग वॉट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट एंड हाउ कैन वी कवर दिस सब्जेक्ट वॉट शुड बी द स्ट्रैटेजी सो एज टू कवर दिस सब्जेक्ट एंड द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट वी विल बी हैविंग अ लुक एट इन दिस लेक्चर पूर्वांचल आई एस इज ए वेंच्योर फॉर सस्टेनेबल एजुकेशन बाय डॉक्टर रवि अग्रहारी सर एंड हिस्स टीम for online classes you can download our app with respect to other subjects or you can contact on these numbers purvanchal ias has come up with this great book which is totally aligned to the syllabus of upsc uh, which will be helpful for upsc and the state pcs examinations and all university level examinations as far as the subject of internal security and its challenges is concerned you will be getting this book in hindi as well as in english you can uh, get this from the uh, e-commerce websites or from the nearest store and this book is totally aligned with the upsc syllabus and it makes it easy for you to uh, uh, prepare for the exam right so and today we will be discussing how we are going to cover and what is the importance of this subject internal security by having a look at the upsc syllabus previous year question trend and we will have a look at the strategy as to how to cover this particular subject okay so considering the upsc syllabus gs3 internal security topics it has linkages between development and spread of extremism what is the role of external state and non state actors in creating challenges to internal security what are the challenges to internal security through communication network role of media and social networking basics of cyber security money laundering and the preventions okay security challenges and their management in border areas linkages of organized crime with terrorism various security forces agencies and their mandate so we have seen what are the topics that the upsc expects us to prepare for and let's have a look at the previous year questions that have come up in the exams starting with 2015 we will have a look at all of the questions that have come in gs3 paper of the upsc mains examination till 2000 19 so in 2015 the questions have come five questions have come for 62.5 marks these were related to security implications of cloud hosting of servers okay armed forces special powers act of 1958 ISIS left wing extremism and national cyber security policy of 2013 okay so these are the topics on which the questions have been made so we can see that most of these are directly related to the syllabus okay cyber security uh, this is uh, something which you can see directly in the syllabus you can see role of external and non state actors in creating challenges all of these things are directly related to the syllabus and if we are preparing the syllabus properly we will be able to answer any kind of question okay moving on to discuss about 2016 paper so four questions have come for 50 marks so these questions are related to hot pursuit surgical strikes terrorism border management media and non state actors what is their social media and non state actors how are they making use of uh, uh, social media that uh, the question is on each of them for 12 and a half marks and the total comes out to be 50 marks right so 50 marks as far as the gs3 paper is concerned by going through a few topics of internal security so that is a great cost benefit uh, that we have as far as this subject is concerned so this needs to be prepared really well considering the questions these are uh, seeming to be directly picked from the um, uh, uh, our syllabus only border management this is an important part of the syllabus then we have social media which is a part of cyber security terrorism again we this is part of the uh, non state actors and these were in the news there okay so these uh, can be very well prepared uh, if you are thorough with the current affairs for 
firstly and to write a holistic answer you need to be knowing what has already happened with respect to that thing which was in the news so for that you need to go through the static syllabus what constitutes static syllabus static syllabus is something that has happened with respect to the aspects of internal security already okay so this is what we are un, uh, having uh, uh, we have understood with the help of these questions moving on 2017 we had a question on cyber attacks and security framework northeast region this is a favorite topic of uh, upsc uh, many a times questions are asked on this serious law and order problem that is mob violence terrorism again a favorite topic so you can see questions are asked from these topics directly from the syllabus again it asserts the same thing that current affairs and the knowledge of static syllabus obviously is going to help you so we will have a look how we can cover these things in 2017 also this had come for 50 marks then moving on to 2018 again for 50 marks we have four questions here china pakistan economic corridor so this question if you see you might be feeling that this must be a question of international relations why is it here so when it is here you definitely have to answer and that answer needs to be as per gs3 subject okay why uh, uh, where does uh, gs3 subject uh, have a link because china pakistan economic corridor goes through the pakistan occupied kashmir and that becomes an aspect of uh, 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 which affects our security and so uh, we are bothered about that and this question has come up similarly left wing extremism then we have cyber crimes drug trafficking all of these directly from the syllabus itself so for 50 marks four questions were asked similarly in 2019 also four questions for 50 marks directly so you can be sure that four questions for 50 marks will definitely be asked out of these topics so preparing then properly will ensure that you get the maximum marks that you can as far as these 50 marks are concerned so these questions were on jamaat e islami in 2019 overground workers which assist the terrorist organizations on that cyber dome project which was in the news unlawful activities prevention act of 1967 and the nia act the northeast india which has come up again so we can see that these questions again are directly related to the syllabus and so what should be the ideal strategy as far as the preparation is concerned we definitely need to go by the basics then we need to cover static and current affairs syllabus integrate current affairs with the static syllabus so what do we mean by saying that we need to go by the basics basics are you need to be very well versed of the syllabus and the previous year questions so how does syllabus help us in our preparation syllabus obviously tells us what topics are uh, there that you need to cover as far as a particular subject is concerned now what is the role of previous year questions so these previous year questions help in understanding what are the sub topics under a given topic that you need to study like non state actors that has left wing extremism okay all of these things are there so the previous year questions give you the idea of the range of the syllabus they give you the idea of the entire uh um uh, difficulty uh, uh, with which the questions are asked and all of these things are going to give you a bigger picture of how this subject can be prepared okay so now you have all of the topics that you need to prepare you have the sub topics that you need to prepare you need to prepare now okay so that can be done by the help of books uh, you can uh, go for any of the static books we recommend you to go for this book okay uh, which is uh, um, internal security and its challenges or our course which we are uh, dealing with right now is going to completely cover the static as well as current of his topics so these books will help you in covering the topics and sub topics that we were talking about of course a great role is played by the newspapers and current affairs so uh, you definitely need to keep going through them but to understand these you need to know the static syllabus like you need to know what left wing extremism is so as to identify which news is related to that 
so there are various things that you can use as case studies or you can have a look at them as far as the newspaper is concerned so uh, uh, because questions can be asked directly from them so after uh, going through these things you need to integrate the static syllabus with the current affairs like you have made notes on left wing extremism right so you must be having various points so this issue is created and uh, because of left wing extremism uh, um, uh, there is a hit to the education of the people there you can give a case study you can just give an example that will come from the current affairs okay so there you can uh, get the help from that static syllabus will help you in forming the answer putting the stuff into the answer right so that is how you are going to prepare and you are going to integrate these things and once you have done that gs3 paper uh, around 50 marks or whatever maximum one can score that are going nowhere okay so i hope it is understood that you need to make extensive use of the uh, syllabus firstly along with that the previous year question so as to understand the topics once you know the topics go for uh, studying them uh, with the help of books you need to keep covering the current affairs and try to integrate them so that is what is going to help you and that is the ideal strategy that you can be following i hope that is understood and this uh, session has helped you a lot thank you and all the best for any other query you can contact us on these numbers or visit us in person at purvanchal is gorakhpur